Today is the start of a five-year program of collaboration between Britain and Israel in regenerative medicine. We have brought together over 250 researchers, professors, experts and leaders in the field of regenerative medicine from both countries. It's something that we've managed under the, the brand of Birax, which is the brand for scientific collaboration between the UK and Israel. It's been running about two years, but in the last year we've really stepped up the ambition and the scale of what we want to achieve. We've got scientists from 20 British universities. These are some of the leaders of their fields and they've come together because we're trying to forge a partnership in this area, regenerative medicine, where both Britain and Israel are world leaders. And we want to make this the focus of scientific collaboration between our two countries for the next five years. I thought it was going to be tremendous, but I never imagined it's going to be like this. The enthusiasm and the interest of the young brains is incredible. My hope is that we'll come out with at least one good solution for, uh, for a human disease. I think the big challenge for regenerative medicine is to take the basic science and turn it into routine clinical practice. And I think that no one person, no one lab, in fact even no one university, really has all the multidisciplinary skills necessary to actually execute on that. Generally speaking, uh, science is based on collaborations. Clearly, biological research takes a very, very long time. If more people are involved, more studies are done, breakthroughs will happen uh, faster. I think there's lots of potential and I've made some contacts during the meeting which I'm going to follow up when I get back home so we're hoping to be able to put in an application to Birax to get some work going together which is really exciting. It's been amazing. We've had over 250 people participating. There's a great buzz. People are talking to one another, they're sitting on the futons. I know of several people that have already met and have plans on working together. The completability is there and the chances of this developing to a real big success, I think, are excellent. Over the two days of this meeting, we've had an incredible buzz and people really getting together and discussing both science, the translation, but more importantly, actually meeting one another. And I think actually it is the people you collaborate best with are the people you like and know. And I think this conference, because it had a lot of networking opportunities, uh, meetings in the evenings, had dinners, uh, has really brought people together. And I think it is the chance to network which will make the success of this whole um, initiative. Why this didn't happen before? I don't know, it should have happened before.